I could see it in his eyes. I can see it in you. I guess I'm just not used to that. And then the mu and then the dramatic music from G Gundam plays when Master Asia dies. Oh my god. Son, look at the east is burning red. Sorry, I need to be I'm trying to be serious. No, I get you. It's going to be dark soon. We should head back now. No, the L start to worry about you. Is that like typo number five? I think? You, there needs to be some kind of Brandon error counter in the video. I feel like I noticed that when I first read the strip and I completely forgot. Oh my god. Don't don't let the one thing throw that off. Wait just a second. Hey, I mean it. It gets pretty dangerous out here at night. Grown men go in these woods and don't come out alive. You know, the first time I read this, I was a little put off that she was saying all of this to someone she didn't even know, or she just barely meant. But given the added context of her being a relative and being young, like, okay, I can see her leaking her feelings out. I think it's also just venting to someone who isn't going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. And honestly, she'd already really come to that conclusion on her own. She just kind of needed to say it. Yeah. It's like what a lot of therapists okay, say. Okay, give me a second. I, 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 okay, so did we want to stop here, or should we keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. As we're long almost as done with this part. Going. All right. Anything? I went to the last street yeah. corner. Nothing. Mm. This leaves me no choice. I'll have some servants out for a search on a search party for her. And you can head inside and rest in the meantime. Lower mistress. Make it quick. I honestly thought this was a lot longer. Okay, I think we can get in a little bit of the night parade during this. The night parade is like 70 parts. Actually, we can probably get through the rest of the search and the recounted days, because that's only like four parts. Oh yeah, like the recounted days, a little bit of night parade, like I mean, we're not going to get it all done today, though, but a decent amount. No, we, there's no way we're getting through all of that parade. Hey, we're going to find her, all right? It's not that. It's just... I... You think this is your fault? Not just with Rin, either. I know that look of guilt anywhere. Can you blame me, though? I can blame you for a lot of things. I can blame you for leaving us with Father. I can blame you for never coming back for the longest time. I can even blame you for returning with not only your human husband, but your daughter as well, causing all of this trouble to begin with. Oh, Nico. Thanks for the encouragement, sis. <clears throat> that what's done is done. And I think it's fair to say that we're all over that now. But is Rin over it? I've never seen her look at me so cold before. Like she didn't even know who I was. I wouldn't say that's the first time that's happened. Well, has anything been going on with her? What hasn't been going on with her? How often do you guys check up on her? Uh, mm -mm, rarely. Hey, I barely have enough time for myself, having the kids and all. Exactly as planned. <laughs> I'm too busy taking care of both Mayumi and this town. And I've been pretty busy too. The only time we ever do meet up is for the parade. And now what do you do? <laughs> what, what keeps you so busy? <laughs> We still don't know, technically. Like, legitimately, I just realized that, like, Fumiko's, you know, running the town and keeping her younger, youngest sister, uh, stable. Yori is dealing with incredibly bad, bad-tempered and mischievous children, as well as the lingering questions and guilt about what happened to her husband. Where's Anna? What does Anna do when she's not here? Perhaps I'll be addressed in a Tales of anyway. podcast moment eventually even then we don't usually talk that much. also not to be that guy yeah, but actually. another typo <laughs> where oh look there's two uh oh, for... oh there's two apostles i couldn't even see that yeah. <laughs> yeah she's she's kind of a downer so i guess that's a no well can you blame us Honestly, I'm not one to judge at all. But are you not? Well, that was depressing. <laughs> but immediately after that uplifting previous strip, we have this one where they're all kind of realizing, 
Oh, we've all we've all kind of been to each other, haven't we? And unintentionally and otherwise. We uh we really need to and I and you know, we need to go down to it. This is what Osama wanted. He wanted them to not get along. He wanted to put them at each other's throats at all times and not even be able to rely on each other. Neglectfully, yeah. Because presumably, he never had to rely on anyone, so why should they? Also, what, she's not one to nine? Oh, 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 damn it. Oh, well. Joke aborted. <laughs> Joke aborted. Oh, uh, how nice. A good old Father's Day strip. Bit Defender, stop telling me about my multiple suspicious connections. It's just my internet. <laughs> the last time. Anyway. <laughs> oh, well, it's just a theory. A uh, game. An Irma theory. An, an Irma theory. In her dirty, cluttered room, Mayumi digs for the last remaining shreds of her dignity. Is, is that... Uh, that cannot be Godzilla in the, the Godzilla kanji, right? I don't know. I can't read it. More importantly, Mayumi why is the, the why is the spine facing inwards? How are you supposed to find the book at the spine thing inwards? Maybe it's double spined. She said. She also has a TV, which looks like it either has a which looks like it has a big crack in it for some reason. Cracked TV. What lore? What does this mean, lore wise? <laughs> I just. It, you know, if we were a bigger fan of it, they would be more theorizing the importance of this. Okay. Kenji, I need you to lead a search party for... You've gotta be kidding me. Matsu! Momo! Kenji. Oh, Kenji. How many times do I have to tell you to stop pulling this kind of stuff? Huh. Let's do one of Mom's old spells. We can't just leave him like this. Anna? Will you go make him some tea? I'll handle this. I... well... okay. Don't you, think, don't you need your kit for this kind of stuff? Not at all. Yeah. But... Here you go, Kenji. Nice and hot. Thank you, mistress. How long was I out for? From the way you looked, too long. I checked everywhere. Kids aren't here. No one in the building has seen them either. Which, when you think about it, makes sense, because they went out through a window. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I'm so stupid. I shouldn't have left her alone here. Emiko, relax. She's with your daughter. She's with Yori's daughters. The three of them should be more than capable of handling themselves. You don't know that! Uh, uh hi. You. <laughs> you two are in, s in big trouble. Yeah, we know. How long is it going to be this time? A month? Two months? You know, when you, when you think about it, they come back and they already realize they f***ed. Well, they shouldn't have said that, but they already realized that they'd messed up. Like, they're already... Like, that something happened. Like, either they had a moment of realization on the way back, or, they, or something else happened on the way back. That they've already kind of realized, okay, yeah, we, we were wrong, we know, we, we're not proud of it, sort of thing. I'm probably reading too much into this, but... They done goof. Anyway, I... Yeah, like, and probably because they realize they have no idea where Irma went. Wait, where's Irma? Ooh. Uh, uh... No, 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 no! We, we gotta go back out there! We gotta find her! Sis, we need to get everyone out searching for her. Emiko, you need to look everywhere! Emmy? Oh my gosh, we need to call Sam. If we ran into her, maybe she... Emiko, stop! You need to calm yourself. Stop telling me to calm you. <laughs> not only, not only is our sister out there, but now my little girl is too, and it's all my fault. We need to go back out there and find them before something horrible happens to them. I don't think we need to. Did I miss something? <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, what I miss? I, I, I can leave. I, I can just go you know, back out and not. Uh, okay, okay. I can. Um, where have you been? You've had me worried sick. For good reason, ultimately. I, I, Aww, I found it's the, a sad snake. I found the snake, Aunt. Do I win? I found the sad snake. What do I win? Do I win the prize? Can I keep her? So, sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Can we keep her? No, go ahead. What are you trying to say? It was, it was either... Oh. 
Just keep going. Hi. Hey. Welcome home. Look, the value is here. I shouldn't have done what I did. I just... Welcome back. Oh, well, thank goodness. Thank goodness. It's so great to see you again. It's only gone for a day, Anna. Yeah, just take it. She was really worried. We all were. So where were you anyway? I was searching for you all day. Hiding, I guess. I just didn't want to have, ever be found. Really? We didn't Ooh. notice. But that didn't stop her. Didn't stop her at all. We're just glad you're back, Rin. Irma, what you did is I told you not to do. It was dangerous. You could have gotten yourself hurt, or even worse. She has no idea. <laughs> but you did bring her home, and it was very brave of you. Just don't do that to me again, please. Oh, my God. Mayumi, she's still up. Sh shifty Mayumi. It's amazing how shifty someone can look without any facial expressions. She she up to something I'm new. I forgot I how feel much it in feels boots. was in this arc. <laughs> and yeah, very, very, uh, very emotional. <laughs> very emotional. Tales of the Outcast. <laughs> it's actually just Tales of Outcast. Close enough. The Outcast is someone. There. Close enough. Cyrus, this also, story Cyrus, is this. Actually, actually, I just remembered this. Random. I just remembered uh, a couple weeks ago they posted like the the um I don't know the wrap up pen, uh, thumbnail pencils, and the page where uh, it's Dracula, the trucker, and the Brandon character, it actually says Brandon character on the on the notes. Oh so yeah. So that's what we're, we're gonna go with Brandon. Also, so, uh, sorry, yeah. it seems to be popping in and out a lot. Uh, I'm high energy tonight, so I keep having to walk around my room in circle, almost to not die of stir crazy. No, you're cool. It's fine. Fair enough. Don't worry about it. Tales of Ant Past 5. Cyrus, he's may or may not be the reincarnation of the Egyptian god Osiris. We will get back to this at some point, probably, maybe. I don't know. I read it. I, I it's mean, not... I don't know what to say about it. It exists. He may or may not be an Egyptian god. Yes. Well, also high we may or may not get back. Yes. The strangest outcast member. Maybe. I don't know. Most enigmatic outcast member. A regular mystery. He's weird. He, he is. He. Uh, he's uh, interesting. By the way, yes. please, please go on. Uh, please go to the Kindle. Please. Please, buy, buy the Labyrinth Arc. It didn't sell well. Please. Please, they have my family. Please. It's too much. My family literally played the game, but they're stuck in there. And, okay, they're probably screwed. But you know, buy it anyway. Oh, there's the, the other oh, yes, one. Almost well of horrors. Now, this one I haven't played. Hopefully it's still up there. Uh, it's Mario Maker 2, so it should still be available. Hopefully. I have heard rumors that they do delete levels after a while if they're not very popular. Hmm. Also, I well, was checking... Vinny from Vine's boss made it, so... They did? Yeah. Vi uh, yeah. I, I, it, he did, like, an episode of... I mean, several episodes of, like, Mario Maker 2 fan-submitted levels, and that was one of the ones he did. Oh, dang. Uh, by chance, do you have that video? Uh, yeah, it's in my files somewhere. Alright. And, anyway. Also, I was, and now for the wrap. Huh? I, I was doing, uh, I was checking Twitter during that, though, so anyway, let's continue. And before we knew it, there was Irma at the door along with Rin. I still can't believe she actually brought her home all by herself. But, yeah, she seems to be feeling better. It looks like we have a lot more catching up to do than we thought. That's great! I said it's great! Oh, yeah, we're doing just fine. Kentaro had to stop by the bar to get some answers while looking for her, and, well, he, he, he haven't left yet. Uh, of course he did. Well, be sure he doesn't have too much fun tonight. That usually leads him into a lot of trouble. Oh, Fumiko says not to forget about Haru, either. 
Wait, where's Fumiko? She's not in the room. <laughs> just like, uh, and it's just like, and then it's like, like just, just admit like that last sentence and just be like, they get, they, Sam and Kentaro show up at like three in the morning, drunk. Where's Haru? Oh, f uh... <laughs> like, is it that they somehow did forget about him? He's like, oh wait, I remember where I left him. I'll go get him. <laughs> I'm gonna come home in one piece. But consider how polite everyone's been to us. That not be much of a problem. Good, because we're gonna be joining... They're going to be... Because they're going to be joining us on a little walk downtown tomorrow. In fact, everyone is. All right, I'll let you go. Love you, honey. Love you, too. All right, right boy, get back over here. Sorry about that, guys. What did I miss? Nothing, Sammy. This night's just getting started. Drinks are on me, boys. What do these guys have? They're, they're on the my rich. father's credit. They're on my father's tab. <laughs> all right, little hero. Like, you do you really think Kentaro wouldn't charge all of the, uh, charge all of the bar visits to to, to the Yuimoto tab? That's one of the many reasons Osamu dislikes him. Because he's running up an enormous bill. I can't say he didn't have it coming in some way. Okay, little hero. Let's get you cleaned up for bed. Emma. What happened to your hair? That's a nice hairstyle. I like it. Should I should have what I had that short and gave up midway through. <laughs> I remember when I had I remember when my hair was that short. Uh, Man, I looked like a lesbian. Oh god, the seed. <laughs> Splash. Bloosh. Don't worry, sweetie. It'll take time, but the hair will grow back. You're, you're gonna have normal hair for a while, I kids. I think I missed his bug. Rin on towel duty. Rin, the moving towel. Oh my holder. god, the disposable rack. You too good in there? Yeah, we'll be heading to bed soon. Figured we'd get some. Fi figured to get some rest. I, I don't think that's typo, it just looks weird. But yeah. We'll be heading yeah. to bed soon. Figured to get some. Yeah, that is a weird way of saying that. I don't know. You know, so it should be like figured it'd be best or something. But it just feels. It's not like a repeated word or a misspelled word. It just seems out of place. Half you know, hot, ha yeah, half so, error. I don't know. Good night, then, Amico. Good night, sis. Good night, Emma. Good night, E. E. Yep, missed the spot. I would honestly hate this way of bathing. <laughs> Just getting bucketed all the time. See, this is what happens when you refuse the march of progress. Mm -hmm. You you have to you have to do the you have to do the old style Japan bathing. Oh, this moment. Meanwhile, I uh, forgot about this. Yeah, I still. I'm still not entirely sure what the what was going on here, but you know, this is just you know our <laughs> real introduction to Osamu in the story. You know, squeezing someone's head apart, stepping on them, stabbing them through the head. You know, you know, normal normal grandpa stuff. Oh, and uh, running a couple people through with his cane. You know, leaving carnage and bodies and blood. And I can't stuff. wait till he does that, Emiko, and the rest of his entire family. It'll be great. Why? You know, I don't think we. I actually don't think we ever got an answer for what he was doing here. Like, was he committing did they murder or because was he can? He, or was he, or, you know, I mean, really, it's because he can, but was it, like, did they attack him or was he just doing it for shits and giggles? Or was it cleaning well, up? Considering it was the latter is more likely. A, a little bit of column A, yeah, a little most bit likely of column just, B. You know, mostly, most likely cleaning up loose ends or business. But yeah. Yeah. To be continued, Osamu we're done forever. We're never going to see the end. He has killed at least six people on panel. <laughs> his first his first appearance in the mainline comic, and he's already caused six fatalities. Probably more. Yep. I wasn't actually counting, but like at least six, at least six on screen deaths. Yeah, considering his uh, origin, six is a fitting number. Yeah, sounds about right. Coming up next, there were counted days. This was totally worth taking up a, sl a, a number slot. You took a slot. Why'd you steal a slot, guys? Oh, this bit! I remember this! Here's your tea, Sam. Here's your tea, Samuel san. That. Okay, that is spelled right. Thank you. Do you not like it, sir? Actually, quite the opposite. I can't even begin to tell you how many cups of tea I've had in my life, and this. This is one of the best. 
I'm sorry, do the flowers have faces, or is that my imagination? I, I think I know what you mean, yeah. It's a little perplexing. You know, oh, it's nothing. Just my own, my own little recipe. Well, you might need to shop this around. Tastes like this can't go unnoticed. May I have some more? I might be out here for a bit. Of course, sir. Oh, this and is William. Gone. This moment. Yokai, Ma La Yokai Lady Magnet. <laughs> it's been a few days since we arrived here, and only a couple more before the night of the parade. Still no signs of Emiko's parents, which should be worrisome. From what I hear, under, from what I hear, it's been a year since they've last been to the village. No one in town's too hung up about it. Not even Emiko, her sisters, or her brother. Kind of seems like they're hoping they don't arrive. I mean, it's been pretty mellow around here compared to the first two days, especially with the locals treating us with the utmost kindness. But I feel that things are still not the best they can be. Recently, Elko has been trying to make up for all the lost time she possibly can with her siblings. Most of that time, she's helping them out with preparations for the parade. It's kind of funny, seeing how casually they're talking to each other now, even with Ren. It's almost like she never left home. Still, I don't think everyone has come around yet. Oh, the scene. <laughs> that face. <laughs> There's some, there's some emote potential there. Meme Perhaps potential. We'll need a different, Perhaps we'll need a different band. Can you get my list, Emiko? Sure. Oh. Me bump. Naomi, I didn't mean to... Here, let me get that for you. So, we haven't really spent much time together, have we? Maybe after I'm done helping out Fumiko, we can go get some takoyaki. How about it? My treat. Give me book. I'll just take the book. I think it's actually kind of funny in retrospect that we, that everyone was like, oh, Mayumi's up to something, she's up to something, she's up to something. No, she's just really socially awkward. I think ultimately that was it. You know, she was just really, really, really shy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Irma seems to be in okay, Irma seems to be enjoy enjoying her time here. At least a little more now that Emiko has let her and Yori's girls walk around the safer parts of town. I know she doesn't have the best time with those two, but at least it looks like they're making progress. She tolerates them more. That's a plus. Though it seems that she's having a harder time getting to know the other kids that are locals here. Just think about it. We can easily snatch old man Fuji's sash. He won't even be able fast enough to stop us. What are we gonna use that money for anyway? It's chump change. I don't know, but at least it'll be something for us to do. Fair enough, I'm down. Come on, cuz. Don't be such a slouch. Now let's go. Isn't this also an e boat? Mm -hmm. That looks like Gla that looks like Blazed Irma. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Blazed Irma! <laughs> Some of us were thinking. Sorry to bother you. Don't know if you remember us. We just wanted to thank you for helping us out a couple days ago. Please, Herbal by the love it. Never would have thought we'd be saved by Emiko's Yorimoto kid. Emiko is your mom, right? Mm, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are gone. Really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> is it true she overpowered a Gashan Gashan Yokuro just for fun? Or how about hey, the no. haunted half of Osaka? I kind of want to hear that story. Does she taste like chicken? Oh. Uh, has she actually met Dracula? Uh, you know, there's a high yeah. probability. Considering Dracula exists, you know, it might ha might have happened. We don't f know. Well, guys, give her some room to breathe, will you? Oh, my bad. I guess we got carried away. Yeah, it's just that we've heard so much about her. She just seems so awesome. And a certain one of us might have a crush on her. Shut up, Habiki. Shut up, Habiki. What kind of fans? Sorry if that sounds weird. There's just so many stories around her, especially for her abilities. Say, I've just been curious, but do you have any abilities yourself? Easy there, can't... Denji. Is... Is that even remotely similar to the word, the name he was called earlier? She no. More, more than likely... Lovely. She more than likely doesn't. She is part human. I don't know that. Her mom is Emiko, after all. <laughs> What to do? What to do? Hmm. Ooh, do I do the stone marble thing? No. I got a better idea. It's the avatar. She can bend both water and fire. 
make sushi butterflies. Butter gas, I mean, butter I, fires. I, it's cool that she just, it's cool that she apparently just knows how to do that. <laughs> if this was at hometown, though, it probably would have been bats or some kind of demons. But nope, not the scene. Mm. Whoa. That, that was all you? Just, I don't even know how to describe it. That uh, pretty awesome sums it up nicely. You gotta show us more where that came from. You should come and hang out with us. We have a cozy little spot out by the shrines. I think you'll really, really like it. Oh. oh man, they're here! Heads up, everyone run! Get out of here! You come near her again and we'll make sure you can't walk for a week! You got that? Scram! You're lucky we got here just in time, cuz. Seriously, when are you gonna learn? Don't mess with the past. Now let's get out of here. Those guys are starting to make this place reek. Whatever this, fam whatever this family has come, whatever reputation it has gained, there's no doubt that it's taking effect on everyone. Even her. Just a note. So let's pause for a second so we can... So we can question... What would have happened if Mitsu and Momo hadn't come back? Were the kids already planning on getting rid of her? Um, getting rid of her? Or was that more of a? Or was that a real decision that was made later? I have a feeling like, that was something they were plan They thought about. They were planning on, but this was like so, like cementing it. Like, yeah, we're going through with it. Like, they seemed to genuinely be interested and enamored in her powers and her connection to Emiko. So it, it strikes me as a little odd that they would go to the murder path. And, but then again, what we've, you know, what we would learn later was that they were already pretty rotten. And that, you know, Mitch and Momo were right to try to keep her away from them because they were pretty nasty. They just were hiding it. To quote, do, do, I don't know. To quote Dr. Ivo Robotnik slash Eggman, remember... No good deed could go unpunished. Do we even want to dub this one, or should we just skip it? All right, you primal <laughs> screwballs. You ready for some dodgeball? Hey, Yerba, where's your uniform? Ooh. Well, if you want to know, it's available in the store now. Whap. <laughs> That's right, we got new t-shirts. Property of Blairwood Elementary. Yeah. Established 1954. Established now 2010. Class of 2010. Available the link now. Maybe buy it. I don't know. You actually can't get that shirt anymore. They discontinued it. Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh. is this this? Oh no! Oh! This was about the guy that tried to make his own Kickstarter. Oh, God. No, 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 no. no. Goodbye. Some people just don't know when to quit. Let, 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 let's get back to our uh, more, I guess, proper content. I don't know. As for me, I couldn't help but start getting curious about the local townsfolk, particularly in their abilities and how they lived with them. So I figured I'd ask them if they'd like to, what they'd like to discuss on the matter, specifically an interview form. I would have understood if anyone considered this to be too nosy. I just can't help it. It's just my nature. But surprisingly, most of everyone was pretty open about it, so I got my recorder and began interviewing. I, of course, started with the family, and what I found was... interesting. All right, Yori, I guess we should start with the net. How often do you usually stretch it out? When don't I? Technically, I should only be stretching it at night, but when you have two hyperactive daughters that need to be watched constantly, who honestly has the patience for those kinds of rules? Well, I try to keep my body super healthy, just so it can stay fully active and not fall asleep while I float my head around. By the way, have you ever been to Okinawa? Have you ever been to Okinawa? Why can't she stretch it during the day? Is there someone that enforces that kind of rule? What happens if she doesn't? Is this going to bite her in the ass later? Is someone going to kill her for this? I'm guessing it's like something along the lines of like, don't eat late at night or else you'll gain more weight or whatever. I mostly use these blades to slash away and conquer my enemies, though they can be a nuisance when using them for more mundane activities. Go up! Hands go down. 
I guess my whole cucumber um, obsession just kind of came from my mom's side of the family. Although, it's rather that or go with what my dad prefers, which is, well, you don't want to know. Ooh, I smell juicy meat story. <laughs> oh, you should come the next time you come to Japan, especially in the summer. The water on the beach is so warm around that time. Yeah, Papa gave me this old, old Kanobo for combat reasons, but honestly, it makes a much better back scratcher. <laughs> We're supposed to bring good fortune to whoever's house we live in. Pretty lame power, if you ask me. Why should someone else benefit just from us bunking at their place? It's our money, technically, so we should take it all for ourselves. Taking a very literal interpretation of good fortune. Yeah. Taking it as the money aspect as opposed to just being lucky. And then some of the yummiest food. Don't even get me started on the ice cream. Oh, no, not the ice cream. I hope this isn't too awkward for you, Ren. As awkward as when you brought Kentaro back from the bar. <laughs> Fair enough. So I heard that plenty of Yureana, Nureana, tend to live around rivers and coasts. Do you have a home near water, Rin? Not really. I would have, but I... Ellipsis. Okay, the record is off. You can speak in mind if you want to. It's just that I'm not comfortable living near water. Not since I was younger. There was this incident when I visited Ishikari River. It seemed nice there. At least I thought so at first. Then I got my bottom scar. I'm so sorry to hear that. If you don't mind me asking, where did you get the top one? Look, if you don't want to. No, I do. I just... Take your time. I'm here. What she, <laughs> what she told me, the cruel origin of that scar, I could hardly bear it. I couldn't help but wonder what the state of this family is heading in the next couple of days. After all, our little vacation can and in either can end in either two ways, with everyone on better terms or in worse state than before we got here. Cough, cough. All of us are together, yet it still doesn't feel like we're whole. Whether Amico's parents do show up or not, there are still boundaries that need to be dealt with. What is she eating? I've recognized that before. I think they're just dumplings. This just might be me being silly, but I thought that was a seashell for a moment. She could probably eat whole. She could probably eat seashells whole. Like just throw the entire clam in your mouth. You don't want to make use of the three seashells, Irma. Just saying. God, that's a reference I haven't made in forever. Hey, out of the wide cell you. Sorry, what were you saying? Kentaro, I was, I was gonna comment on the same thing. Kentaro raiding the liquor cabinet, the liquor room, the liquor room. <laughs> so how many more pages we gonna do? Uh, the next one after this should be the last. A while. Good. My hyperactivity is killing me, <laughs> but I really don't like like having to pop in and out of the stream constantly. Well, if you have to leave, that's okay. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we only have one more anyway. Irma, like bits of Irma I've never seen before or unfamiliar with, do this weird thing. I call it the Irma anxiety because it's also a similar for sensation to the one that makes me wake up at like 8 o'clock in the morning because I know there's going to be an Irma update. I see what you mean. Yeah. Mood. Also, by the way, Halloween, um, it has to be related to Horror Halloween. No OCs. Any characters from the previous Earl Weeds will not be repeated. So, uh, don't suggest any of these. Okay, I thought. It's a long list. Yes. Oh, I don't think there's any dialogue for this. So, uh, we're just going to, uh. I'll just, just keep Miss. You know, I think Kentaro's War Club is gonna come back one day. I hope it comes back one day. I want to see him knock Osamu's face in with that thing, not gonna lie. Also, may you be break back, Tori. Break his nose. Break Osamu's enormous nose. It's a perfect target. You little asshole, you ruined my fucking nose! How am I supposed to please my wife now? The, P the Pinocchio nose. The Pinocchio <laughs> nose. 
And we're saying this during this wholesome what moment. What do you mean by that? What, you think? Well, how do you think you were me? I've got nothing going on. Also, she does like the Waddle Dee cookie thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> thing. I'm sorry. Are you out the person that's not his nose? Of course it's not. What do you think it's supposed to be? A, a very long this spelling has to be organ. Of, we, we, the, the video's just gonna get muted at this point. <laughs> We're just not Please gonna. Don't, no, don't mute it. It's a next generation take. A next generation. This is. Moving this on. This is me. This is. The future is unknown. Is me, and I've always cylinder. found doubtful this about it after writing about it. After writing all of this, but where would we be without a little faith? There you are. And I see you made yourself a little fan club. But everyone is this Sam why is this man just so interesting? <laughs> oh, Amico, you can't try this tea. You wouldn't believe how good it is. May I? Uh, of course, mistress. I think I had just found a drink for tonight. Anything else you guys would like? Can I get a refill on this tea? This stuff is yummy. Yes, this is quite exquisite. Is it just me, or was this? Oh, it's this nothing special. Just, just look at this quite text. It is like slightly thicker, I think. Maybe that was inserted. Nothing in special, just a simple recipe. Nonsense. What is your name, young one? Uh, you, you, ma'am. Throughout this entire week, I've been trying to find the perfect liquid refreshment at the festivities from the rarest wine to the cheapest of sake. And all have failed to impress me until now. As of tonight, you, you, your tea shall be the drink of this year's night parade. What? Oh, thank you, mistress. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't say anything. Just be ready to get to work tomorrow. I think I think she might be a little, little tipsy. Yes, ma'am. Also, I just realized she has like a small little. No, when I read bits here. like this, it makes me feel less. Less insecure about how I write Rin, M Umiko in my own fan fictions. I know their names. I don't get them confused. Oops, I English good. Oh, Me English good. <laughs> Epic <laughs> so name just, reveal. Just a panel of the twins chowing down on noodles. I must have forgotten that one. Me and the, girl, still me and the, the girls with the noodles be banging. So socially awkward. <laughs> this is like that final scene from Illuminations the Grinch, but there's like no dialogue and it's a little less Illumination like. So, so, Mayumi is the Grinch in this metaphor. <laughs> and an improvement she, in every single way. She is the one that stole Christmas. <laughs> Yumi do be stealing Christmas, though. Oh my god. Now, 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 okay, you know what you have to do now, Simp. You have to write how Mayumi stole Christmas for this holiday season. Oh my god. You know what? I, I accept that challenge. Whatever happens in the next couple of days, however chaotic things may get, I'm sure we can get through it. <laughs> Ominous Osamu foreshadowing. My man just, drink just a big Just add in the JoJo. Just... Okay, well, we should stop there. Just add in the JoJo to be continued. Just freeze on that. <laughs> JoJo menacing. Oh, my God. To be continued. Oh, my God, it's her birthday, and oh, no, it's the, 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 the other generation people. Oh, how I can't stand them. It's the boomers. Osamu is a boomer, and his kids are Gen Z. Change my mind. I mean... I don't know. Oh, <laughs> now we gotta deal with the Irma Weeb ones. Uh, yeah, let's just. Uh, There's no dialogue. So. Give me three. Where are we gonna end then, off here? And then the night parade didn't start up until after New Year's. Here we are.